All right, everybody, welcome back to part two. So in the bowl, we have our gluten-free, soy-free, egg-free cornbread mix. And to it, um, to replace the egg, I use Bob Red Mills Egg Replacer. That's what I use, okay? So to, for the egg replacer, you use one tablespoon of the egg replacer to three tablespoons of water. And so it comes out looking like this. And I, if you anything like me, you be like, that don't look like an egg. It need to be wet and runny. Um, so you be trying to add a little bit more water. But anyway, you just do what they ask you to do. One and three. So we put that in, in here. We have our jalapeno chopped up. We're going to add some corn. Take a lot. But you can add how much you want. Um, you can omit the jalapeno if you don't want jalapeno. You can omit the cheese. However you want to do your cornbread. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to add some cheese. I love So Delicious brand. Um, the taste for me is for the shredded cheese is amazing. Um, for the sliced cheese, I always use Follow Your Heart. Because um, I'm all about your heart. I mean, I'm just saying. But um, so delicious shredded cheese. It melts very good. And it, it mimics cheese, um, the taste of cheese very well. Okay. And so then it asks for three cups of water, uh, 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 milk, not water. Three cups of milk. And I'm using almond milk. Regular almond milk, not um, the vanilla flavor. It's just regular. Okay. So we're just going to give that a good old stir. have my pan over here I've already placed it in the oven and uh, with the butter get it melted so we can have a good butter flavor to it cameraman getting a phone call transfer it into our pan All right, so we have those filled in there. We're going to stick them into the oven. We got crab cakes and our shrimp are in there smelling real good. All right, and so now it's time for the grits. Stay right there on that pot for me. All right, guys. So I told you guys I do not measure. So we're just going to get the pouring grits in here and get the stirring and to the consistency that I think that I'm ready for it. I've done them so many times. I just, I just go with the flow. I don't measure. So I didn't measure water. I just figured out how much for me and my son tonight. It's just us tonight. Daughter and oldest are at work. Husband is teaching his swing out class tonight. And my youngest and I are at home doing what we do. All right, so we're just going to pour some of the grits in. And 
And if you're wondering what I poured in first, I poured in a little bit of white grits. I like to mix my grits. Um, so I poured in some white grits as well as the yellow corn grits. And so we're just going to give that a good old stir. So you see, got your grits in there. Alright, so we're going to bring that temperature down on it. Put the lid on them. Let them thicken up for a minute. Once they thicken up, then we'll add our butter, our uh, sour cream, and our... Um, you know, help me out. Our cream cheese alternative. All right. <laughs> all right. So that's all for this part. Now, for the last part, we're going to come back with you and we are going to assemble this good dish and we're going to eat. All right. Be back in a minute.